Yeah, all right. Got us here a little package. Little package. Come all the way from South Carolina. That's right. Got us a little package from good old smoking packs. Let's see what's in here. Huh? We got some paper. We got us some Cornell's and Deals chocolate cavendish. What else we got? We got us a little bit of this uh, morning bayou. Morning bayou, yes. Uh, what else have we got? We got us a little bit of the Corn Island deal, the tobaccos that, that was on sale. Yeah. After hours flake, midnight drive, and uh, opening night. Yes. Yeah, so we got and that brings us to this stuff. This is the tobacco of the day right here. Warped Saint Espresso. A unique triad of distinct Cavendish variants, each carefully steamed and toasted, combined to evoke the velvety body and rich flavor of a fine espresso, perfect to start your day, to pick you up after lunch, or to pair with evening dessert. This exquisite coffee-inspired blend takes an exclusively different approach to the classic Black Cavendish Aromatic Profile. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay. Smells kind of like a sweet coffee. Mmm. Mm. It smells pretty damn aromatic. I'm going to smoke it out of this here uh, Sherlock Holmes pipe. So, let's see. All kinds of different cuts of Cavendish in here. A lot of different. They're all kind of ribbony, but some are short, some are long. Okay, here we go. Lights up pretty good. You might think it would be a little, uh, I don't know, a little damp or something, but it actually is pretty good right out of the tin there. It definitely reminds me of a Cavendish. But not so, you know, there's not a, not a, you're not getting walloped with the weird artificial flavors. You know, probably if no one said anything, I don't think I would guess coffee, really. Actually, what it reminds me more of is, uh, like a biscotte, biscotto, biscotti, 
something with you'd have with coffee, which to me in a way is better. Because yeah. uh, I'm I've got my coffee. I'm drinking a Cafe Bustello uh, mocha pot espresso. <laughs> Uh, just a touch of honey in there. And it goes very, very nicely with that. It's good. Very smooth, but still stimulating, you know the senses and the ret it's got some something of a retro hail. This thing is a P lip so it's possible it could be a little different. But uh yeah it's a nice smooth velvety sweetness. Engaging and unique. Got some some interesting tastes going on there. And uh, yeah, now I got two of them. Am I glad I got two of them? Yes, I am. I don't see myself rushing out to get more. But it is sort of it is sort of unique. In some ways, it just in some ways it really does just taste like the Cavendish and like every Cavendish house blend at the pipe store. I mean, you taste that just that Cavendish, just plain Cavendish. But it's got another dimension. It's got a, a nice tobacco flavor, you know, just kind of, you know, perfectly uh, hand, fitting hand in glove with the, uh, the Cavendish uh, and the flavoring. But in some ways, it's, it reminds me of that Cavendish, but you can actually taste more of the the tobacco through the process, which I like. It's it's definitely not overly aromatic, which is important to me. So, yeah, I like it. I do like it. You know, this isn't the kind of thing I reach for very often, but. I love coffee, and something about the name sort of spoke to me, Saint Espresso. And uh, of course, I, when I saw the box arrive, I made an espresso. I like to do things the way they are supposed to be done. Give them a fair chance, you know. I can't help wondering what this might be like with a little Perique, though. Just saying. Or p possibly even a little Latakia. Could be an interesting base to even do more. But anyway, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's definitely worth a try. So, there you go.